Hey everybody, it's the D Rock 100. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black in the last episode. We arrived here in Akarine City. We defeated N once again, and we did a little look around at the exterior of Pinwell Forest. In this episode, we're finally gonna take on the Nacarine City Gym. But anyway, off screen if you haven't seen already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Bingo actually evolved. If you haven't seen from the beginning. But anyway, um, my Pokemon has finally gotten pretty much close to up to level. Hey, excuse me a second. That one just changed. This one hasn't changed. Shocker here. I finally gotten back up to speed with the others. I'm still going to have Pampo and Patrat on my team for the moment. So, I'm also going to use them as my main scapegoats. Okay. Before I forget, I need to check on something. Woo! I forgot about that. The net ball. Uh, which is a pretty good Pokemon for any water or bug type Pokemon. Or both. Alright, so let me just... Let me get me some potion. And... I guess I could probably stock up on a few more... Great balls. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't go through there? That's ball honky. Okay. All right. Hello. Who are you? Wow. Whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated. Welcome. I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. All right. This skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an ancient and oh, an accident while it was flying around the world, and it became a fossil. Yeah. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We only just wait because it's rather pretty to look at. About that. About that. The Pokemon Jam is just beyond here. And then, at the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. Well, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wife. Well, thank you for the assistance on that one, my good sir. Hello. <clears throat> a Pokemon gym where a leader waits here for a challenger at the back of the museum. That's a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give you this to you. The fresh water. Very, very nice. Okay. Alright. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. It's just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting types. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now, I will explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is, Nice to meet you, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. Yeah, a lot of these battles here, well, actually, I think all of them are required. So, <laughs> expect some long fights, but hopefully they shouldn't take us too long. Like this one right now. Ooh, and it's pretty high level. But no worries, I come prepared. Oh, piss balls. Okay, okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. I may be a bookworm, but I'm not a bug Pokemon. I should hope not. That's just disgusting. Anyway. First recommendation is a book called Nice to Meet You Pokemon. The bookshelf for children's books are the close to the entrance. Okay. Thank you for letting me know on that one. children's books. Yes. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He was with a small brown Pokemon. There's a, a memo between the pages. Pokemon Channel. I am the gym leader Lenora. I had four memos in the library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now, this is the first question. 
What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? Hint it is on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. Okay. We actually talked to this trainer. Hello trainer, you found a memo already? And you're looking for a book about Pokemon? <laughs> in fact, I'm, I'm also reading a book about a Pokemon. It's about Tepeg. I wonder if it's the first Pokemon. No, it was not. What was the Pokemon you battled at the entrance of the gym? Alright, so we need to check this one. Yes. Okay, Patrick raises his tail when it sees an enemy. Alright, there's a memo in the back cover. As I thought, that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside his body, and it gives off a smoke while it's head and while it runs. What is the book? The hint is, somebody may be reading it. This is the person. You found the second memo, and you're looking for a book? What does the memo say? Alright. I'm reading about a book about Tepeg, but is the book... The, the, but isn't the book the correct answer? Excuse me. What a pity. This book about Tepeg says... Flame? Oh. Never mind. I'm just thinking of something else. I'm a freaking idiot. Oh, did you find a memo that they come here to look for this book? But I guess I'm just... Oh, duh! I'm a freaking moron! Jeez! I overlooked it! And I call myself a Pokemon trainer. Or a Pokemon nerd. The hell am I on about? <laughs> I'm such an a-hole. Okay, no, not really. Ooh, okay. No big deal. I okay, maybe it is kind of a big deal. Okay. Oh, you copycat. Well, I'll tell you that again. I'm the copycat because you did it first. Okay. And could you please stop that? All right. So it's oh. Right. Oh, critical hit! Now I've only but had quick attack. Maybe I might, maybe I might survive this. No, I did not. Well, no big deal. I got myself an ace up my sleeve. There we go. Okay. Hooray! Whoa, flame charge! Yes, please, thank you. Um, nah, I don't want to tell it. I'm gonna get rid of quick attack. Cause what I like about flame charge is, after it uses it on the first turn, it raises its speed by one level. Okay. <clears throat> Return a book to a shelf after reading. This is a rule when you read a book. Okay. General studies. The structure of a locomotive. Alright. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs by using steam power. Okay. Okay, let's just give a mulligan on that one. Okay. It's impressive you found this place. That's uh, what I expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? Oh, okay, I know this one. I know this one. I believe you want to go over to this one. Sweet for Pokemons. It describes delicious sweets and made by heating berries in a pot. There are sweet it's called Poffins, made from berries in the faraway Sinnoh region, and Pokemon love them. And that's true! Did you manage to get here without being tricked by the questions? Now this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backwards, move one to the left, move two forward, one to the right. One more backwards. Now, where is it? Oh, okay. It's this one. I'm warning. Did you see the last memo to come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the gym leader if you win against me? Sure. Okay. Now, if this was a troll, oh, I would have punched someone in the face. <laughs> but, not, but not really. I wouldn't do that. Okay. So, this is the last required fight. Before I take on the gym leader, I need to go heal up after this. Because I would like to have my good buddy Herdier, or Bingo, at his fine 
goodness, holy crap! Salazar, you rock! Alright, do it again. There we go. Alright. Alright, we got another Lillipop, and then after this, I'll go heal up, and then we'll challenge the gym leader, Lenora. Okay. Leave Tornado! There we go. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, who's gonna learn Leech Seed? The drain, some of it's a move, some of it's. Eh, never mind. It saps the energy from the victim and it absorbs that health. There we go. Oh, wow, I lost, but thanks for a great battle. No problem. Okay. You'll meet the gym leader soon. This is the last book. Now, read the last book. Okay, whoops. Biology of Tepic. You want to read this book? Okay. Flames burns inside his body and it gets off flames from his nostrils. When it's not well, it can give up only smoke. This memo between the pages. You managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Just switch under the book. A hidden staircase. Very good. Okay. So I'm gonna go and heal really quick, and then I'll be right back. And I'm back! Alright. So. Now we come down here. Uh, let's, let's see what I want to do first. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put Bingo up in front. Even though it's probably not gonna be a good idea. But we'll see how it goes. Welcome! The director of the Nacrine Museum and the Nacrine's gym leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you so lovingly raised. This starts off with a fight against Lenora. Lenora has two Pokemon. Her first Pokemon is going to be Herdier, level 18, pure normal type. Intimidate for the ability. Tank down, leer, retaliate, and bite. Uh, that could potentially be a bad thing, but unfortunately, it's faster than I am. So that makes it even worse. Okay. So I, I have a plan for this one. I'm going to try to bring his defenses down to like... Say what? Oh, it's random? Hmm. I just want to give that one a try. Okay, here it goes. Oh, boy. That's gonna hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Okay. I mean, I, but, but, but it's fine now. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Now, with that move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. Ugh. Come on, hopefully this will be enough. Crap. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm good. I'm good. As long as she doesn't heal. As long as she doesn't heal. Thank you. Come on. Take it down. Yes! Alright. Alright! Her last Pokemon! Watchdog, level 20, pure normal type. Illuminate for the ability. Hypnosis, leer, crunch, and retaliate. If you couldn't tell already, retaliate is on both of her moves. Or both of her Pokemon. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and paralyze it. So I can hope for it that I'll paralyze a lot. And unfortunately, I don't have a revive on me because I couldn't find any of them out. In the wild. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use Flame Charge so I can increase my speed. Okay. 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 Let's 
go for a shockwave. Same type of attack bonus. Bad. Oh boy. Oh! Crap! Alright, Pampor! You guys get out there! Let's go for a water gun. I know it's not gonna do much. I'm pretty much just using this as a main scapegoat. But hey, who knows? What who knows what could happen? Actually, you know I got an idea. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe not. Caution to the wind then! Let's go for a vine whip since it's already Got his defense lowered a little bit. And it's down. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're still in this. And that is it! Salazar's at level 21. The theory about you is correct. You may, you're more than just talented. You're motivated. I couldn't get a chance to read all that, but I don't care. That's fine. All right. Alright, your fire style is so enchanting. It is charming. You and your Pokemon worthy of receiving this basic badge. The basic badge. Alright! If you have two badges, traded Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. TM67? Retaliate! Alright. Retaliate does a lot more damage if an ally faints at the turn before it uses it. If you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. Dear! Dear, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! What? What's going on? Derek, you come too! Wow! She's fast! Dang! Talk about a speed demon! I don't think even I could cope. Now, you wait! Enough fooling around! So you've come, Gym Leader. We Team Plasma claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show your to show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. Well, then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma! What's going on? Uh oh, we have to go after them. Yes, we shall. Lunara, find any good fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from Ars Block again? Derek, this is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Castelia City's gym leader. Eh? Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just wanted to it with an exhibit, and that's what's up. Oh, hi, Derek. What's everybody doing here? Derek, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends? Bianca and Sharon. Oh, I see, they're trainers. Okay then, let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone, Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and Derek, you two search Pinwell Forest. Got it? Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Aha, uh -huh. you are Derek, is it? Are you bearing a, to rob up our robbers? A roundup of robbers, excuse me. Okay. Sorry if you're hearing any strange sounds from the back. Okay, but anyway. Okay, hang on a second, I'll be right back. I guess it, it heard that I was coming as well. I was like, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay, okay. Alright, now, what did she tell me? Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. So you can find stuff you can't even see. Okay. 
For now, we all uh, need to do it is protect the museum, right? Hey, wait for me! Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and end things off right here. But anyway, before I go, there is something that I actually want to quickly tell you guys before I end it off. Um, I am actually going to be doing no recordings for the duration of this weekend. Uh, this video will be going up hopefully before midnight, and then soon after, my next part of my top 100 favorite Pokemon list will be up soon after that. So for the time being, there will be no recordings for the duration of the weekend. I will be getting back into it on Monday, and I shouldn't be getting the next video up on Monday evening. So anyway, with that said and done, thank you all so much for watching. Next time, we're going to head deep into Pinball Force to track down Team Plasma. See you guys then. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. Somehow I wasn't going all the way through that. But, uh, oh, God. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, crap.